Hey guys, Glimsy here, and in this video, we'll take a look at the Actros MP2 by Nicola, updated for 1.31. Alright, so let's have a look at it. This is how the truck looks in its complete form, but we will have a look at uh, what are the customization options and everything else in a bit. But first, let's hear how it sounds, let's see how it looks inside and all that stuff. Not so bad, I'm not really sure which mod that comes from. If this is Lean's, it does sound a bit muffly. I remember Lean's had a bit of a muffled uh, effect to the truck sounds, but I'm not really sure. If anyone knows, hit me up in the comments, alright? But it does sound pretty nice, and the interior looks like this. Interior is pretty detailed. I love the dash of that MP2. I think it's a pretty famous truck, isn't it? I've seen a couple of videos in real life with this kind of uh, interior, this dash. The computer specifically is from Piva. You can download that separately, but I think it's integrated with the truck as well. But yeah, that's originally for the MP3, and uh, this truck uses that one as well. It does look pretty nice. I love it. And the sound kind of melts pretty well. Engine brakes are there. Indicator sounds are there. Pretty complete. The retarder sounds, I'm not sure if it's been fixed. One thing to note in this mod though, is it's locked. So if you're the type of guy who wants to tweak the different files, have a look at the different files inside the SES uh, archive, you cannot really tweak this because it's locked unfortunately. And I'm, I'm that kind of guy so I didn't like that part but yeah, it's, uh, it's a whole package so you get what you get. And if you don't like it, then you cannot tweak it. You just have to live with it or move on to the other mod. It also does not have so many customization options. But what it does have, I'm lacking pretty much. I'm trying to also see if there is a weirdness in the sound somewhere. We'll probably get a better feel for that once we uh, get on the highway. Maybe I try to attach here. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I love the clicking sound of the uh, the gear. I think that's pretty real. Pretty accurate for this truck. Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a look inside. Let's shut it down. Let's go to the truck browser. First and foremost, let's hear if it's in the truck browser at all, right? And let's get some music in. <laughs> Maybe not the best matchy music in there, but you get it. All right, let's see. Is it there even? I don't think it's even the truck browser. Ah, interesting. This is the MP3, so that's not that one. This is the MP1. Which is my favorite truck so far. But yeah, it looks like the MP2 is not here. Let's take another look. Maybe it's been there somewhere hiding. No, I don't think so. Okay, so the MP2 you cannot see from truck browser. That's really bad. That's unfortunate. But fine. Let's go to the truck dealer. Go to any Merc dealer and you should be able to get it. MP2, that's the one. Customize. That is how it looks. Now I do want to check performance for every truck that I try. And to do that, if you want to do it yourself, it's easy. Just you have to enable the console and if you don't know how to enable it, just Google it for now because it, it's a different story. But what's important is you get the G underscore Minicon 1. And it will give you access to the console. Maybe if it works like so, there you go. And you should get all these uh, texts up the top. What you would like to uh, 
get into in particular is that triangle count there, that TC. Yes? So if I leave here, and if we look at one of the default trucks, for example, the MP3, you can look at the triangle count in the MP3. That's around 200,000 exterior. If you go to the interior, that's uh, around uh, 1 million, 1.4 million. Yeah, so 200,000 and 1.4 million would be around the best range because that's SCS optimized. And we all know SCS, they make pretty optimized trucks. So if we compare how that looks, how the MP2 is in terms of triangle count, that's 800,000 compared to 200,000 default from the exterior. So that's like, what, four times more? So you will slow down a bit, but not, not a lot, not dramatically. And the interior is around 2.8 from 1.4 million. So that's like double the triangle count. So it might be a bit more... Uh, painful in terms of performance compared to an SES default truck but it shouldn't be too bad if you have a fairly if you don't have a if you have a fairly a modern computer you shouldn't hurt that much yeah that's how it looks there are limited options in the cabin only a mega space cab available only one chassis available 4 by 2 only one engine available, 550 horsepower. It's a V8, I believe. Yeah, V8. Two options, both 12 speeds, one without, one with retarder. Same differential. And uh, the interior, two options here, but the only difference is uh, one of them does not have the GPS in that phone. One of them has it. Otherwise, I think it's identical. Yeah, so if you want the GPS, pick this one. If not, pick that one. I want the GPS. The colors, not a lot of paint jobs here, just some plain colors. You can customize it if you want. I'm not sure if a template has been released already, but if there is no template, then it's not likely that we'll get any custom skins for this. It does look pretty nice though, doesn't it? It does look pretty nice. I always love, if you know me, <laughs> I always love these uh, combinations of the paint and plastic. So I love that, that mix in there. Now to the heart of the customizations, all the exterior parts here. Let's have a look at what they can offer. That is LAA Trans, I'm not sure what, it's, what that is. There is an option to get uh, painted grills. Now one thing to note as well is that most of the text is in uh, Russian I believe. Is it? Is that Russian? That's in Cyrillic, is it? I think so. So you have an option. <laughs> you, you would have to uh, try it out yourself to understand, but that's uh, how you can customize it. Uh, it's a bit of a different customization, not on a per slot basis, like all the dots, but it's like grouped together, like this one. Uh, TIR logo uh, plate, either folded or unfolded. And then you have over here, the lights. You can choose between yellow or white. And this is what I was saying. Usually with the other truck mods, you have it like, you would have like six dots here and you would be able to customize each lights. But in here, it's more of a one, a package deal, so to speak. Yeah. Over here as well, yellow or white. You can see it there, but if you enable the lights, you'll notice it like so. Yeah. The only thing is with this one, if you choose the TAR, the unfolded one, it kind of goes through that. But I think it's livable. You don't really see it if the light is, lights are off. But if it's on, it's kind of going through. Breaks immersion just a bit. Not a big deal. The lights are pretty good. The flares look nice. Not really the expert in flares, but does look pretty cool to me. You also have the option of changing the fog lights. Do they light up? I don't think so. I think it's white. Now I'm not sure what the difference is between that and that. No clue. Ah, okay. One of them actually lights up. The first one doesn't. The second one does have its lights. Yeah. 
And the third one is the yellow one. Here we have this like front skirt thing. And over here we have the mud flaps. There you go. There's also an option of changing the uh, color here, either plastic or paint, bumper. And that kind of pattern continues with the other parts as well. Like the side skirt, you can make that into plastic and they really like this gray plastic thing. I wonder if it's a real configuration set up in the Merc trucks because I've been seeing this in other customizations as well. I think in the MP3 by Mr. Capital, I think there is that gray colored, light gray colored plastic parts as well. Also, you can even change these ones to plastic, the entire spoiler area. But I'm not such a fan of that color. I like that plastic, that pure black plastic, not this light gray one. But that's more of a personal uh, preference. So let's bring it back. And here at the back, you can see another dot there. Those are lights at the back. Similarly, they are packaged together. And I kind of like that because I'm a really lazy guy. So I don't really like picking all the dots one by one. So I, I like that uh, package deal. It's not as customizable, but for a lazy guy like me, it's well enough. There is one more dot in here and that is the accessory in here. Either the, how do you call this? The chokes? The ones where you push into the trailer wheel so it's like a stopper or I don't know what that is. A fuel tank, a few, uh, I don't know, some kind of liquid. Maybe water for the coolant, I don't know. Up top, some air horns. And two options for light bars. I kind of like how they look actually. Don't even need to put lights into them. That in itself, it's pretty cool looking already. Over here, I'm not really sure what that is, that part. But if you look, if you add that option, that uh, adds like a gray film there. Not really a film, but so an overlay or something. I'm not really sure what that is. If anyone knows, let me know in the comment. But it doesn't change a whole heck of things for me so nah, let's, let's leave it as is option for the door handle and then you can have like a strip here either yellow or white over here is the accessory again and you can change the uh, windows here plastic or paint over here is the curtains if you want That is inside, that's the CB radio, I believe. There is no option for the side mirror, it's only plastic. You can have some decals on the window with the Merc logo. These are accessories on the inside, let's pick them later. Um, sun visor, you can have green or black or nothing. Doesn't look good without it. Some curtains, again, right? Interestingly, no side mirror here. No mirror on the, what do you call that? That thing here, which looks at this side. That's not a side mirror, but you get what I mean. There's nothing there. Isn't it required by law to have it, at least in European trucks? Hmm, maybe it's just a miss. What else, what else? Tires, I'm not going to touch. They are pretty standard the back we don't really have a lot of dots inside yeah you can have the curtains I don't really like them and you can have there is no steering wheel adjustment so I think yeah this might be an old truck even before I played DTS 2 and maybe it was just ported over into into 1.31 that's how it appears to me at least what was that the decals curtains there you go okay make it a cleaner look you can also have a gps in here but you already have a built-in gps there so no need you can have this i don't know what that is that's a uh, um like a highway pass i guess just those accessories are compatible and you can also have some of these different versions now over here can have that entire thing it's one package so it's kind of nice kind of feels homey I like it 
but yeah, you can't customize it. Or you can have the usual ones where it's integrated with Sizzles and the other mods, so Clumsy Mug can come back there. Yeah. What else? Other parts are typical, but the whole model itself, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. CB radio, that's the one we clicked a while ago. And over here, the dangling thingy. But I really like this dashboard. So cool. And the the gear shifting sound, I love it. Yes, so that's how the truck looks. That's how you can customize it. As I mentioned, not a lot of options. And unfortunately, the, the, the mod itself is locked. So you cannot really modify any of it if you don't like anything just live with it yeah and if you want to download just check out the video description the mods list should be there right let's go for a quick drive just to see how it sounds how it feels if there are other quirks with it we'll notice it once we get on the road now i hope it's stable enough not to crash but we will see shortly Maybe if the game decides to load, there we go. Some bouncy trailers in there. The trailer I have right now is from uh, Cast from his uh, VAC. VAC trailer pack? Yeah, the VAC trailer pack. Good. Let's hear that engine again. A bit muffly, but you kind of get used to it. If you open the lights, as I mentioned, the lights kind of go through the TAR, but. Not a big deal. The air horns, do they work? Wow. <laughs> they do. That's the normal horn sound now. Good. Once you remove the parking brake, then you get all the dials. You can change that. Yeah, this is from Piva. Definitely Piva level. Yep, yeah, looks familiar. Interestingly enough, I can't move, but that's because I have to probably attach first. Yeah, trailer cables do work. You can see trailer cables are attached, that's good. And now we should be able to go. There we go. Not too shabby, eh? Not too shabby. Let's try from the inside. have a feel for how this truck performs in a real world scenario. Maybe we'll drive for a couple of minutes, stop somewhere on the side of the road, or maybe when we get to a, uh, a gas station rest area, we'll see. The dashboard is fine, although the GPS does seem like it's a bit on the bright side. I've noticed some truck mods have it like that. I'm not sure where they come from. If it's in the model, I guess, of the GPS. I think the uh, GPS is a separate model as part of the truck. And I guess that face, that, that screen, if it's the same with the other truck parts, that has a color into it. It might be that the color there is a bit too bright, which is causing the entire GPS to be bright. Maybe it's white or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, normally, if a truck mod is unlocked, you can modify it using Blender or some other parameters, changing some of the files. But yeah, this, this mod is locked. So unfortunately, I think that's the we have to live with that. Now, there is an option here for dashboard backlight, but it doesn't usually affect stuff. Although, in this case, it does. So that's good. So you can just easy enough you can just modify it like that although it also modifies the dashboard here so a little compromise should be good it shouldn't be that bad there we go the wheel looks like it comes from the mp3 steering wheel i guess they have more or less the same uh, steering wheels already the mp1 looks a whole lot different shabby kind of 
having a hard time with this. 16 tons. Let's have a look from the outside. Not too bad, right? Not too shabby. Yeah, so you don't have a lot of customization options. But if you're happy enough with what you see right now, and if you are, like me, also very much into that dashboard, then you'll probably enjoy this truck. Aside from that, it seems like it works pretty well. I do want to hear if the retarder works though, because that's the usual problem with the older mods which have been converted to 1.31, that the retarder doesn't quite work. You don't hear them because they changed, SES changed where the retarder setup is, where the, the sounds should be in. So maybe it doesn't work, we'll see. The engine brake does seem like it's working, the sounds at least. And yeah, the engine brake itself is working. Slow down a bit more, there we go, 40. And as we go through the longer stretch in the highway, we'll be able to test out how the retarder is. But everything else looks fine. The lights actually are pretty strong compared to uh, other lights. It's a bit strong in my point of view. Like you can, and that's not even the high beams. Look at the high beams. And this is full daytime. You can see the lights really are powerful. Not sure how much of an effect they are for performance. Squeeze in, please. Thank you. All right. Let's get to 80. 80 kilometers per hour. And then let's test out the retarder. What else can you notice about the truck? The mirrors seem fine. The mirrors seem like they are set up properly. It looks like it is using the new uh, mirrors from 1.31, the more realistic FOV. So you can really see it properly. The mirror at the side mirror at the bottom. Yes, pretty nice FOV. The one at the top, I think it's a bit wider field of view. So it's better for getting a handle of where your trailer is. On the right, yeah, similar thing in the the aspect ratio on the lower right side mirror actually is pretty good as well. Kind of like it. Maybe we should turn off the music, huh? So you guys can hear the engine better, but I cannot. It doesn't respond to me. So I'll have to move out of the game to play it. Retarder? There it is. You can hear it? That, that like humming sound? It is existing. Very nice. Very polished mod. Yeah, I just wish it was unlocked so I could uh, modify some of the files, but in itself, on its own, I don't have many complaints. I love it. Let me know what you think about this mod. Let me know in the comment section. But, but yeah, I think we'll leave it there. I'll probably just stop somewhere. Can I squeeze in? Thank you. Everything works so far. The lights, the sounds, configs, pretty stable, pretty smooth. Not a huge performance hog. I like it. Not sure if I like it as much as the MP1. But I really love this uh, this dash. But anyway, yeah. Let me know what you think, guys. <laughs> we'll leave it there. I'll stop in the middle of the road. Let them uh, drive around us. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked this video. And uh, let me know if you are into the MP2 as well, or if you don't like it so much, or if you have other suggestions. Anyway, thank you for watching. 
that's going to be it for this one don't forget to hit the, the thumbs up hit the like button comment subscribe if you haven't already share with your friends and check out the patreon page if you are interested in supporting the channel directly all in the video description thanks for watching have a nice day catch you in the next one or the massive air horn <laughs> love it oh crap doesn't want to end okay now it ends the the key got stuck somehow <laughs> clumsy trucking exactly have a nice day and bye bye